Hi guys, how do you do? Welcome to Ration Program Users. So for today, we'll continue the Android JSON series of tutorials. We shall be downloading this particular JSON data we are seeing over right here from online, passing it, and then of course showing it in a custom recycle. You now you can see, for instance, the whole of this one right here is our JSON data. Actually, if you point our browser right here, you shall be able to have access to this data because it's public. This one over right here consists of our JSON array. Of course, it's surrounded with the angle brackets. A JSON array consists of JSON objects. These are single JSON objects right here. They are, of course, uh, surrounded by the braces right here. And then, of course, they are separated by comma. So for us, we are having 10 JSON objects. And these are what we shall be, of course, downloading, passing. And then each particular JSON object we're going to show in a single view item in our recycler. This is the data that we're going to pass. Now, for us, we come over right here. We are having our recycler view. If we click our fab button, it's going to download for us a JSON data, pass it, and right here you can see we're having all our data over there, the 10 of them that we've downloaded. Guess this is it, this is what we're going to see, how to work with JSON data, and of course recycle view. So join me, we get started. Once you've created your project, then come right here to a build or cradle. I recall you to uh, make sure that you add this to dependencies of our right here are uh, the design support library and as well as our card view design support library because uh, remember we shall be using our recycler view also card view right here our recycler view is going to consist of card views as a view item so please make sure you add those ones and then of course click right here to sync our project once we've done that one then we're going to move over to our manifest inside our manifest the only thing we need to do here is to add the permission for connection to the internet because our JSON data shall be loading them from uh, the net. Now we come over right here. We're going to, of course, if we chose the basic activity and it's just going to generate for you activity main as well as the content main, go ahead inside our content main, make sure that you add your recycle view. So once we've done that one, then create another layout called main model.xml. This, this is the layout uh, that's going to contain our card view right here. You can see at the root. This card view, this is what shall be inflating right here. This particular layout is what shall be inflating to represent a single view item in a recycle view. So for us, it's going simply going to consist of three text views, name, email, as well as username. So guys, that's it. That's it. These are our layouts. Let's move over to our classes. This is very simple. We're going to organize our classes in packages. MJSON, this is the package that's going to contain for us our just classes that shall be dealing for us with the JSON. First, of course, JSON downloading and of course also JSON uh, passing. Then, of course, our M model. This is the class that's going to contain our model that is going to for us to represent a single user. Okay. Now, for us inside M JSON, we're going to have the connector. This is the class that's going to help us connect to our network. Also, going to have our JSON downloader as well as a JSON passer class right here. Then, at the end of the day, our MUI, we're going to have our adapter and also as well as our view holder. That's it. Let's come get started with the user right here. Now, this is simple. This is our project class right here. It's going to represent for us a single user. In fact, our objects, the JSON objects we shall be getting, working with, of course, each particular JSON object represents a single user. Now, first, of course, we specify the user properties, the username, name, as well as the email. Okay, so this is our project class. It's our data object is going to represent a single user for us. So, then the next thing we're going to move to our connector class. This is a simple class is going to help us establish our connection with the HTTP URL connection. So what we're going to do first, of course, we're simply going to come right here, create a simple method that I've called connect right here. The method is going to return for us an object. Okay, it's a static method. For us, we're going to take a JSON URL, a string over here. The first thing we're going to do is instantiate our Java.net URL passing in our JSON URL okay once we've done that one then also we're also going to come right here url.open connection this one right here is going to return for us url connection as uh, the super class of this are http url connection so we simply cast it to http url connection then we set its properties now for us we're going to be making a get request to our server that means that these are read only requests we shall only be reading our data we set our connect timeout as well as our read timeout to 15k ms. Then we set our do input to true because this is our connection right here. We shall be downloading data into our application. 
At the end of the day, we make sure that we return that particular HTTP URL connection object. In case if while trying to insert our URL right here, if we didn't specify the right format for our URL, we're going to catch that malformed URL exception as well as IO exception right here while trying to open uh, a connection to a URL. Okay, take note that our errors right here starting with the term error. So, guys, this is it. This is our connector class. Next, let's uh, go ahead and then, of course, move to our JSON downloader class. We shall be downloading our data. The class, the purpose of this class is very simple. Of course, first, we're going to connect our class to our network uh, with the help of our connector class. Once we've done that one, we shall download our data in the background thread, then send that particular data to a JSON parser for it to be sent. Okay, so for us, the first thing we're going to make this class. Uh, we're going to have it subclass our async task right here. So, because our right here we shall be uh, doing this, our downloading of our data, of course, in the background thread. Then within this class right here, we're going to be requiring these three context json url as well as our recycler view. these are going to be passed to us by the constructor then we're also going to initialize our progress dialog that shall be showing while downloading our data so for us alt insert we come right here context json url as well as recycler view. they shall be passed to the constructor then of course we come over right here now for this one we're going to have to implement a couple of methods right here the first one on pre-execute this method is going to be called before our task begins in the doing background. Doing background right here, this is where we shall be performing our background task. On post execute shall be called once our task is over. So for us it's simple. What we're doing inside before our task begins, we're going to initialize our progress dialog and then of course show it. Then of course our doing background, this is where we shall be implementing our download method which we shall download for us adjacent data. Then of course inside our on post execute right here. This one is going to receive the result of our doing background, in this case, which is a string, which is going to represent our JSON data. So it shall be passed inside our own post execute. The own post execute, of course, gets called right here in the, it gets executed inside our UI thread, in our UI thread. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is to dismiss right here our progress dialog. So once we've done that one, this is the next thing. Let's come over right here and actually implement our download. So we're going to say private, then we have this method that is returned for us a string. We're going to call it download. For us, the first thing we do, we need to establish our connection. So we're going to store it in an object. I'll call it connection. Then of course, we just simply call our connector class. We call the connect method. Then of course, we pass in our JSON URL. So the moment we have that one, yes, this is our connection. The first thing, let's come right here and check connection if our connection is valid do to string then check if it starts with the term error now if this is the case then we're going to know that yes we have an error so we're going to exit by simply returning our connection do to string it shall be displayed for us in a toast okay so that's it otherwise we're going to come over right here inside the try catch block the first thing we're going to do is to come http url connection then we're going to cast this our object our connection object to http url connection so the moment we've done that one the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over right here now the first thing we're going to say the first thing that we're going to do we're getting our response code so con dot get response code this is going to give us our response from our server it's our response is http okay then we're going to proceed on and then download our data otherwise if that's not the case then of course we'll need we're just going to come right here return error then plus the response message that shall be receiving now for us manual right here to download our data of course come input stream is equal to new buffered input stream inside the buffer stream we're going to get our input stream from our right here our connection object our http url connection object then we pass it to a buffered input stream then we insertiate our buffered reader inside our buffered reader of course we're going to pass the input stream reader that's going to read our input stream we pass in our input stream inside it so for us as we read let, uh, data we shall be reading line by line and then storing them inside this particular line variable then at the end of the day we're going to append all those patterns to a string buffer right here 
that we are calling JSON, uh, JSON data. Then of course, we come now to read our actually read our data. We're going to use the read line method of our buffer reader. So br dot read line is going to return for us a line. We of course assign it right here to this particular line variable. And the six part shall be of course receive the data downloaded from our JSON downloader, pass it, and then of course call our adapter class to bind it to our custom recycler view. So let's go ahead. This is a recycler view, of course. So let's go ahead. The first thing that we're going to do over right here, we're going to make uh, this one derive from async task so we're going to come right here say async task then of course uh, void as our first param that shall be passed to our doing background void right here that shall be passed to our own progress update then of course inside our the result of our result we shall be passed to our own post execute is a boolean for us so the first thing we're going to do we're going to implement a couple of methods on pre-execute on post execute as well as doing background okay so on post execute over here the first thing we're going to do inside right here pd which is our progress dialog equal to new progress dialog then of course we pass in our context then pd dot set title okay we're going to say pass data and then pd dot set message so what's our message well we're going to say passing data please wait so please wait yeah this is it then of course we have to show our progress dialog by calling the show method this is going to show for us our progress dialog but then remember over here we need to come our constructor we shall pass in the context right here the context our data as well as the recycler we shall be binding that particular data so inside our own post execute the first thing we want to do is to make sure that we dismiss our progress dialog by calling pd the dismiss okay so once we have those ones then we're going to proceed on and then implement how we're gonna pass our data so in this case we're simply going to have this method going to return for us a boolean we're going to call it pass now pass our method is going to be simple inside our try catch block what we're going to do here is simple first json array j a equal to new json array we pass in our json data then of course json object we declare it right here now users dot clear this is the array list that we created over right here that's going to contain for us all our users that we shall have uh, downloaded okay a single user right here we declare now what we do is simple we're simply going to loop through our json array so as we loop through it we call the get json object to get a single json object uh, by simply passing in the index then of course we come right here get the name username as well as the email using the get string methods from our json object then of course we come user equal to new user we insert the user set that particular name username as well as the email then of course make sure that we add that particular user to a user's collection at the end of the day we return true then of course to implement this one we're simply going to come right here call the pass method so what we do in fact this one we can simply call it it is passed okay this is a boolean right here it shall be the result of our passing task that shall perform inside our doing background method package let's come right here and then get started with our my view holder class this is the class that's going to hold for us the view now the first thing you have to make it derive from recycler view dot view holder then of course which are these views that shall be holding well name txt email txt as well as username txt these are the views right here they are text views now for us what we're going to do over here in this class is simple we simply come and then reference them right here using our item view then of course item view define view by id we pass in the id again this is it these are my view holder class is very simple it's going to hold for us this particular views they shall be uh, displaying in our recycler view so for us let's move over to our my adapter class inside my adapter simple the first thing we come here make this one derive from recycler view dot adapter then of course as the type we're going to pass our my view holder once we've done that one we're going to have to implement on create view holder on bind view holder as well as get item count the first thing we're going to do we're going to where the constructor pass our context as well as our array list of users 
then inside our own create view holder this is the class we shall be initializing of course our view holder class and returning it so let's simply come is where we shall be inflating a layout so let's come right here this layout we're going to inflate it and then assign it to this particular view object we are calling v we come call the inside the from method we pass in our context then we call the inflate method we pass in r dot layout dot the layout that one inflate in this case is our model layout then of course we're going to pass after that one we'll have to pass right here our view group which we have we not really in fact parent right here okay and then touch right here we're going to say false once we've done that one then of course we come initialize instantiate our my view holder passing in our view object inside our own get item count here we're going to simply say users dot size to return the total number of users over here okay if you leave it as zero then you want to be able to display any data in a recycle level so let's come over right here the first thing we're going to do of course get a single user 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 equal to users get then we pass the position we come right here refer uh, reference our name txt then call the set text to bind our data user to get name we pass the name over there pass the email pass the username this this is it this is our my adapter class okay it's where of course we shall be inflating our layout where we've inflated the layout and it's also uh, where we shall be binding data to a recycler to implement it we'll have to move over to our json parser now json parser right here is simple uh, what we're going to come to bind our data we simply come we remember we have a recycler view we call the set adapter method then new uh no new my adapter that's how we call it then we pass in the context we pass in our is please don't forget to set this particular adapter right here once you've done that one of course we also have to call this json parser class so we're going to come over right here and then come new json parser we pass in the context we're going to pass in what next well we're going to json data as well as our recycler rule then of course we call the execute method uh, to start it off okay so guys once we've done that one of course let's now move over to our main activity inside our main activity is simple first please make sure that you specify the url that shall be getting the data from for us this is the url then of course we have right here recycler view so we come set up our recycler view reference it then of course set the linear layout manager they shall be responsible for positioning items inside the recycler view we're going to use the linear layout our project this is what we get first of course our recycler view is empty if you come click our fab button very fast it downloads it passes it and right here we're having all our data okay so guys this is it this is it i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have please hit the like button share it for me please and also make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss any of our tutorials we normally do post and read tutorials quite regularly otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial